Hello friends, welcome to Virtual Team Jesus Sunday School. I'm Deaconess Kim, and I'm so glad you've joined us to learn all about the best present ever. Let's call Judy up. Hey Judy, are you there? Hi everyone. Hi Judy, what do you have there? It's a Christmas present. I found it under the tree, and it's for me. Oh, are there any other Christmas presents under your tree? Yes, and I counted them. Can you guess who has the most presents under the tree? Me or my brothers? Well, Judy... Go on. Yes, is it me or Bubba or Gordy? I can't wait for your answer, so I'll tell you, it's me! I have more presents than them. Judy, getting the most presents is not what Christmas is all about. Are you sure? You told me it was Jesus' birthday on Christmas. I get lots of presents on my birthday. Judy, Jesus is the present on Christmas. Wait a minute. Is this some kind of trick? No, Judy. Jesus is the present on Christmas. And Jesus is the best gift ever. Are you sure? There were some really, really nice presents out there. Right, but Judy, what did you get for Christmas last year? Um, I can't remember. See, new toys and clothes really are fun, but after a while, things like that break or get lost, or maybe we grow too big for them. However, Jesus is a present that lasts forever. Well, how long is forever? Well, forever is many, many years before we were born and many, many years after we're gone. Jesus gave, came to give his life for us so that our sins will be taken away forever. That's a present? It sure is. When Jesus was born as a little baby, it was God's gift to us. Was he wrapped up in pretty paper with a bow? <laughs> no, not at all. But Jesus is a present just the same. Would you like to learn more about this Bible event? Yes. First, let's practice the Bible point. I'll say the first part, you say the second part. Okay. So, Jesus is our Savior. Now you say, Jesus was born for me. Jesus was born for me. Great. Do you think you can teach our friends? Sure. Okay, everybody. Jesus is our Savior. Jesus was born for me. Good. Let's do it one more time, nice and loud. Jesus is our Savior. Jesus was born for me. Wonderful. Now, let's turn to the Bible, to Luke chapter 2. That's where we can read all about when Jesus was born. Today's Bible event is from Luke chapter 2. Around the time when Jesus was to be born, the Roman Emperor, Caesar Augustus, ordered a count to be made of all the people throughout the Roman Empire. Everyone is told to return to the place where they were originally from to register and pay taxes. Joseph's family was from Bethlehem, a small town close to Jerusalem. So Joseph took Mary, his fiance, and they started on the journey to Bethlehem. It was a long and tiring voyage, and Mary was soon to give birth to the baby. Day after day they walked on until they finally arrived in Bethlehem. Mary gasped, Joseph, I am so tired. Let's find a place to stay. Yes, Mary, it has been a long journey. I'll ask if there's room here, Joseph replied. They went to an inn and Joseph asked, We have traveled a long way and my wife is very tired. Do you have a place we can stay? I'm so sorry, the innkeeper replied. Bethlehem is very crowded these days. So many people have come to register that I have no room left. The only place I can offer you for the night is a bed of straw in my stable. Thank you, kind sir, Joseph replied. We'll need to rest and the stable will do. So Joseph and Mary made a little space around all the animals in the stable. While they were there, it was time for Jesus to be born. Mary wrapped him in clothes and used the manger as a bed. That's a cool story, but how is a baby the best present ever? I mean, I know babies are special, but you can't really play with them or anything. Well, baby Jesus is the best gift ever because of what he did when he got bigger. What did he do? Well, he grew up, and then when the time was right, Jesus died on the cross. Then he rose up again on Easter. How is that a present? It's a present because it's a free gift for each of us. Because Jesus died on the cross and rose again, it means that all our sins are gone forever. And we'll get to be with Jesus forever. Wow, that is a best present ever. So, 
Deaconess Kim, mm -hmm. is it okay to give presents at Christmas? Of course it is. You just need to remember that Jesus is more important than the things we get. Jesus is alive now and is with us forever. Someday we'll get to be with Jesus in heaven forever. And that is why Jesus was born. I guess that's a pretty good present. It sure is. Now let's fold our hands and thank God for the great present of Jesus. Repeat after me as we pray. Dear God, Dear God, we love you. We love you. Jesus is our Savior. Jesus is our Savior. Jesus was born for me. Jesus was born for me. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's it for today, friends. Remember that God loves you, and Jesus is our Savior. Merry Christmas.